Josiah Stewart was the best player on the field today. He could he could not be stopped. I mean, he had two sacks. I think he had some tackles for loss. But, I mean, the only time he wasn't making a play was when they rested. I, I, it felt like, man, every time you saw him on the bench, it was like, oh, my God. Why, why is he on the bench? Force fumble. Why is he on the bench? Yep. Like, they, he, I guess you had to rest him. I guess he couldn't play every snap. I was like, can you get him back out on the field? Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, you know, every time, man amongst every time he was on, every time he was off the field, it felt like that was when they were making plays. As he said, as they said, he made himself some money. Yeah, he, he did. I mean, he, I mean, he was causing false starts. I, he, he had to do seeing ghosts. He was phenomenal tonight. Big time plays. And that to me was one of the stories of this game. Miller Moss had been super efficient, accurate, getting the ball out. The average was 2.2 seconds. It felt like an RPO was attached to every play. So it, it had defenses in the spin cycle. You know, he if you played him too aggressively, man, you know, I mean, you played their run too aggressively, he's whipping it out outside real quick to a receiver on the outside. You uh, you feel like you're slacking off on the run, they're running it up inside. They, they had an answer for everything. But if you can defend or if you can get pressure with four, it's the ultimate elixir. And Michigan was able to pressure with four. They were able to confuse them with sim pressures. They were doing a great job. Wink Martindale did a great job of countering a great tactician on the other side, of confusing a very smart quarterback, a very smart quarterback who's only in his fourth start. But this is one of the things that Lincoln Riley said. This is the smartest quarterback I've ever had. He's had more talented quarterbacks physically, Heisman Trophy winners, right? But he said, this is the smartest quarterback I've ever had. And Week Martindale came in and kind of had him. He, first, he had him confused, yeah, little, and yeah. then he had him shook yeah. because he hit him. And you saw him airmail, airmail a couple passes, right? Now, he hit some because he's going to. They have a lot of talent. And then Will Johnson was out, and he got hurt because Will got hurt. Don't know. Don't have an update. People are asking me for an update on Will. Don't have an sure update on Will yet. yet. He could have gone back in the game, but they held him back. So yeah, so, we'll see. yeah, so at the end of the day, what I liked is with Will out the last couple of series, you saw some young fellas really step up. Jair Hill, young fella, young Shug, made some big plays down the stretch. For all of the, for all of the young mistakes that you've seen him make through three games, and I'm not saying that he's arrived, against some really talented players, when you know they got to throw the football with no Will Johnson out there to really kind of, you know, you got Will over there to kind of calm things down. You got to do it. He was out there making big plays. And then Amir Hall at the very end, a big play to close it out. Brandon Hillman with a big pass breakup. You had some guys really step up in the clutch without the best player on best player in the secondary and the best player on defense out there. Got to get him a lot of credit What's for that. What?